Welcome back to Let's Talk Stocks. I am Fitzroy Prendergast sitting in for Nielsen Rose and this is the interview segment of Let's Talk Stocks. And now I'm joined by my namesake, Fitzroy Ferguson. He's a sales and marketing consultant at the old, old McDonald brand. And we want to welcome you to the studios of CBX. Thank you. Talk to me about um, the partnership between the Jamaica Stock Exchange and Old McDonald brand in the Mar Market Meet Market Forum recently. Mm -hmm. It's important that um, you know we we got to we, we got to see uh, what you had to offer on the day. Talk to me about that partnership. All right. Well, that partnership came out of the blue. I I didn't expect to get a call from the stock exchange based on the, the nature of the business that we do. Um, we're in the retail trade, um, the supermarket, the wholesale trade. Um, so when we got the call about the market by market um, event, I, I was a bit apprehensive about participating because I was like, you know, it's a stock exchange, what, what, what would we be doing there? But they further went on to ex explain that, you know, it was going to be a, a, a market, um, an event that they will have farmers and they want a representation for a, a, um, a corporate company like ours that has a farm in the name. It's Old MacDonald Farm. So I, I immediately saw the connection. We always want to interface with our consumers. Um, they are the length and breadth of Jamaica. And in the corporate world, everybody has to have breakfast and you know, lunch. That's so right, we that's we right. want to engage those people all the time. Would you just give us a, a synopsis of the brand Old MacDonald uh, when it started and uh, what's, what's the appetite for such a, a brand in, in Jamaica? All right, well, the Old MacDonald Farms this is a brand that started from in 1986 by the DaCostas. Um, they're located there in Sandy Bay, Clarendon. So we're a rural company. And the brand um, got its genesis from the, the, the father who was in Germany for a period and he came back to Jamaica and he started, I, I think he saw something in, in Germany which led him down the path that when he comes back to Jamaica, he's going to start a business doing frankfurters and sausages. So that started and it has mushroomed into a very engaging brand. I, there's no day that I put on this shirt and go on the road that I don't have people singing the song. Old MacDonald had a farm. The moment they see the logo or they read the name, it, it connotes this playful character that elicit, you know, some happiness, you know, whether with the kids or with the, even adults remembering their time singing that nursery rhyme. So it's a brand that has been growing extremely well. We, we love the connection that we've been making across Jamaica. And we've been seeing quite a bit of growth over time. Excellent. Now, you're in a very competitive market. Mm -hmm. um, there are lots of sausages such, uh, such brand around. Mm -hmm. And the challenge is to ensure that your brand is unique. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about how you go about differentiating the brand. Oh, that's very, very easy. Um, as you said, it's a very competitive market. Uh, we are faced with local competition as well as imports. So sausages are coming left, right and center into Jamaica. And locally, we have you know, other established brands. We have eked out a position, as I was telling you earlier, that our brand elicits so much playfulness and the nursery rhymes always comes up. But what we have successfully done as a brand is to make our brand appeal to the common man. So we love to say that we're the Irish sausages that are out there. We, we elicit a, a groundswell with working class people, people who look to, to get the, 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 the breakfast support from a company that they, they know is authentic Jamaican. So I love to tell people that we don't sell sausages. When we go on the road, people say, want me and I'm not sachis over there. <laughs> so sachis is what we, we love to connote with. Mm -hmm. We don't do coconut water, we do jelly water. Mm -hmm. So our brands, we, we connect on a deeper level with our consumers that we're able to to get them to look beyond just what the product is and connect with their own culture and lifestyle. So when they sing the song, they remember, oh, it's such is, oh, it's jelly water. Your premier brand is a sausage, mm -hmm. right? But certainly you have other brand, other, other items that you sell. Talk to yeah, the viewers who have been 
watching this program about some of the other... All right, so we're a, a meat processing company. So we do sausages, which is our primary, you know, primary product. So we have regular chicken sausage. We have jerk sausages. Um, we have even a unique brand called Natural Cure. And I'll speak to you a little more on that later. But one of our fastest growing segment is actually our Ballona market. You know, Jamaicans, yeah. again, they love to dub it Balloni. Mm -hmm. But on, in the Ballona segment, we're growing exponentially. It's, it's been doing extremely well. I think maybe parents are finding um, unique ways of using that product in making sandwiches and sending their kids out. So we've been seeing very um, great increases year over year on the performance of that product. With the salami, when it comes to Christmas time, we're big into hams and roasters, which is, you know, cured chicken. Wow. So the, the brand is diverse with the processing side. We have perfected the art of curing um, the product with wood chips smoking. And we also then balance it out with our jelly water brand. Oh. So after all that consumption, you just, you just wash it down with some jelly water. No, that, that's impressive. Now, you, you spoke about so many wide array of sauces that you do. Mm -hmm. um, Explain the connection between the differences between these sausages and why they really have different market, a niche market, so to speak. All right, in 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 our as I was explaining the, the sausage category, we have our mm -hmm. yeah people who will consume chicken and some will love pork. Right. So primarily, I think about in excess about ninety percent of our sausage offerings are chicken based. Okay. But we do have pork based sausage. We have jerk sausage, so there are people who would like a little spice. Um, there are people who are concerned about their kids, so they probably won't give them the spicier chicken, so the chicken sausages, so they'll give them a, a, another flavor um, option that is there. But there are also the discerning few that would love a sausage that is devoid of chemical um, preservatives, and that's where our natural cure line comes in. And our natural cure line is a line that doesn't use chemical preservative to keep it. We actually use natural, as it said, natural elements to preserve the, the, the sausage. These includes celery juices, pimento, wow. and we put in our own unique spices. But what really lock in the, all of that flavor is our curing met, uh, method. So it passed through a series of smoking. With, with the wood chips that we use. And we are, I always love to connote it that that's how our jerk was created. Yes, I, I, I want to talk to you about um, the distribution of Old McDonald's sausages and products mm -hmm. across, the re across the island and possibly across the region. And certainly the, the price competitiveness. Talk to us about how competitive you are and certainly whether or not you you know, cover the entire island in terms of um, distribution. Okay, and I'll start with the last part of your question there because Old McDonald, we're renowned for two key features in the brand. We have the best taste, we walk the trade, we speak to our consumers. The first thing they tell you, they love how the brand is tasting. They love the flavor they get, how seasoned the, 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 the sausages are. So we always get that hands down that we are the best tasting sausage out there. But what is also good about the brand is the value proposition that we always give. You're getting the best value. If you notice on our you know, advertising, we speak a lot of that. Best value brand, that's who we are. You will never see old McDonald Farms being the most expensive brand on the shelf. Mm -hmm. So hands down, we give two guarantee. You're gonna get your best tasting product and you're gonna get it as a very competitive price. I spoke earlier about just how we try and meet with the working class and part of that meeting with them is to ensure that they can afford the product. Our distribution is island wide. We always say to our consumer, once there's a freezer or a fridge in, in, in the wholesale or the supermarket, they can take our brands. But from east to west, north to south, our products are everywhere, easily Excellent. accessible. Excellent. Fitzroy Ferguson, sales and marketing manager Thank you. for the uh, Old McDonald's brand. Thank you for joining us on Let's Talk Stocks. And we wish you all the best. Certainly, it's, some, it's a brand that I love. 
And mm. I'm certain that there are a number of viewers here who have listened to this program that love the brand. So that's it for our interview segment of Let's Talk Stock. Join us tomorrow for another interesting Let's Talk Stocks program.